welcome back everyone so today the next node that we have on our list is the flight node uh, it's a another interesting node in mash uh, dynamic system which allows you to create a flock of birds or you can say uh, a lot of clones or instances are flowing around you can create a very flock of birds or insects and so on and uh, i've come across a new bug in this particular node as well so we are going to be talking about uh, that as well so let's quickly get into it so as usual uh, we are going to take a primitive uh, default primitive to start off with i'm just gonna change this a bit just so we have a unique looking object so i'm gonna just select off faces and extrude this out to something like this and uh, let's maybe make something different with this okay I'm going to merge the top and the bottom faces. Uh, let's increase the threshold and there you go. So we have uh, this weird looking object. All right. And I'm just going to scale this down a bit. All right. So this is what we have. Let's harden this. And I'm going to go to mash here and select this object and create mash. All right. So what usually we do is we uh, go to our mash and select any particular node. And in our case, we are going to be creating the flight. And as I said, flight basically creates a flock of anything. And it is a pretty self animated uh, node, or you can say animation has been applied on top of it, similar to dynamics node. It's going to animate on, there is uh, some way of controlling it. But if I click here, let's say if I go here to flight and I click on add flight node, all right, you'll notice that we have something that looks like this. So we have three regions. All right. And all these regions are basically our alignment separation and so on. And if I just go back and start playing this, you'll notice that nothing actually happens, although it's supposed to start uh, wiggling around. Uh, so the bug with this flight particular node is that it's not actually self animated. So what you have to do to fix this bug is go back to your mash, add a dynamic node. All right. And what that will result in is this falling out. All right. What you can do is you can delete the dynamic node. And once you have deleted this, now you'll notice that they fly around. All right. So let's hit play. And there you go. So now this is what you have. So I'm just going to quickly uh, create a wireframe just so you can see. So this is what we have. All right. So we have this particular scene where we have this instancer flowing around. I'm going to just increase some instances so we have better vision. Let's maybe take 25 and I'm going to hit distribute to zero. And there you go. So now you have something like this. Now each region region represents something. Uh, some region represents how much distance is going to carry out. Like for example, you have the alignment zone and this is where going, they're going to be aligned. This is your separation zone and this is your overall field of vision. We are going to be changing this uh, when we are going to be working on this. Uh, now the interesting factor about uh, fields, uh, particularly flight about flight node is fields uh, that you have a control over this. Like for example, if you think that this is going too far or too outside, you have the separation strength, how much you want them to separate. But let's say if it's not working out, like we have controlled it a bit, I'm going to keep it to somewhere around Point hundred. Now you'll notice it's hardly leaving the uh, separation zone, which is our yellow zone. And uh, let's say for some reason you think that it's still too much or it's still not getting some kind of control that you wanted. What you can do from here is if you go to FX and if you take something like a Newton and let's say uh, my Newton is going to be around here. I can go back to my mash and uh, in the flight node, we have this field option. If I middle mouse click and drop it onto my field, we have Newton attached to our flight system. Now we have Newton being controlled, uh, the all the flocks of birds or our instance or whatever it is. So I'm just going to reduce the magnitude to maybe like two. And there you go. So we'll have those clone flowing around there only. Even that, uh, even said that we can also do one thing that if I go to my uh, Newton field and if I select this, let's key select it. And I'm just going to go to 120 and what I'm going to do is just bring it right about here and right click key selected. So what we have done is animated our Newton field. And if you play this, now you'll notice that our Newton is moving around and our flocks are moving around as well. So our clone will follow the Newton. This way you can create some kind of infected or a venom or a lot of flies moving around a subject or a character and so on. 
So this is a pretty interesting node to create a lot of multi-instancing animation without doing a very hectic job. So that's a pretty interesting thing. Let's move on. If we go back to our flight now, uh, there are a lot to practice actually here. Uh, let me just quickly reset this. Mm, reset, yeah. So if we go to our flight here, so you have a lot of things. For example, you have the align strength as well. Uh, how much strength you want to apply? Like I'm going to keep it to one here and then you can reduce this to keep it under the region and so on. And you have the cohesion strength. If you don't know what these are or if you're new to dynamics and don't know what these words stands for, I'm going to put a link in the description for uh, all the parameters and everything that flight is consisted of what those uh, setting means and how you can control them and so on. Um, so apart from that, you have the surge distance, which is basically allow you to how far this can go and you can increase or decrease this. All right. And you'll visually see how much region you have under control. And if you have a scene, like for example, you have a forest like scene and uh, this is where uh, they're supposed to say uh, you have a lot of imagine you have a lot of trees and everything and you have some flies uh, flowing around you can just simply reduce this and you can keep this area wherever you want and it will be animated there only and let's hit play there you go so this is how you do it so again as i said it's a pretty interesting uh, looking node which uh, you can do you can control the speed of it you can uh, create change the minimum speed and maximum speed and so on you have steering force uh, when they going to steer back or rotate you can control you can change the mass of it if you want to make them lighter like a feather or something you want to make them uh, heavier and so on you can do that and then obviously you have the random strength if you want a uniform looking thing then you can pretty much change this and you'll notice that they are pretty much non uniform and then again you have the option to control your random strength uh, and uh, so on you have gravity at strength uh, you can change the distance and so on a lot of cool things to mess around with you have attractor and you also have obstacle control as well where you can do a lot of different things like around or flee over under and so on which we are going to be covering in future videos uh, don't worry about it this is just to give you the idea of what flight is and how you can control flight the other thing with flight is that you can actually um, fuse this with dynamics node although we did use dynamic node for the correction purpose to fix the bug of our flight node uh, if you are suffering from the same bug if you are clicking on flight node and nothing is happening or nothing is moving then just add a dynamic node and delete it it will work fine uh, but you have a flight node that works perfectly fine good for you uh, as I was saying, you can merge your flight node with your dynamics as well. So if you uh, last video, we talk about dynamics, how you can control it, how you can control the ground plane and so on. So we have a flock of birds or whatever it is, and we have a ground. So you, what you can do if you play this, you'll have this moving around insects or crawling like a lot of cockroaches and so on. You can select your flight. I'm going to bring this down a bit. And... Uh, that way you'll have like a crawling insects or spiders or something like that that you can show that are moving around and so on i right, am just gonna increase this i'm gonna increase some um... okay i think this looks quite good i think i'm gonna increase the speed and there you go so this is how you can do multiple stuff with this uh, what you can also do is if you want to combine this uh, with a curve you can do that as well you want to add some colors or you want to control it with something else you can do that as well uh, whatever you are creating remember it's going to be instancing off of your original object which is our main object here shift h to reveal this and any change that i made to this object will be replicated on top of our flight node as well so i'm just gonna change a bit of information on this looking cube and i'm gonna hit h again since my work here is done and let's get back here and if we look at this if you're wondering uh, if you can uh, pretty much 
uh, you have this you can set it to none if it's bothering you it's not going to be rendered in your final scene it is just for the visualization purpose although i do recommend to have it uh, just so you can get a good visualization of how your field is actually working or what is the separation zone and the alignment zone how far your object is going out of your separation zone uh, but if it's bugging you out or if you just can't see properly you can set it to none and it will just help you to just get uh, view the animation and that's it so as i said now your anime your object has been changed and the animation will keep working on and so uh, yeah so this was it if you feel like uh, your dynamics is too much you don't want to have it you can simply uh, also do one thing that is uh, let me just go to bullet solver you can reduce the gravity to pretty much none or let's say you have a uh, two value and now if you play this you'll have floating scene i'm gonna put a negative two and let's make it a bit stronger since flight is having more uh, control over it so yeah, you can control your gravity as well if you don't want the dynamics node you can simply go here and delete it it will no longer affect your flight and there you go all right so this was it um this is how you can uh, add your flight and pretty much have all control over it and how much you want it and so on and whatnot uh, so try to create something interesting what i did uh, with flight was i created this animated butterfly and i added them to flight to create a pretty interesting scene uh, i'm going to be sharing that scene very soon once we have finished all the basics of mash so once we have cre cleared all the node we are going to be creating some interesting stuff with using all the nodes this is just to give you the basic idea of what flight is and what you can pretty much do with it so have fun play around with it create something interesting and i'll see you in the next video